a lot of farmers, when uh, uh, picking corn was over, then they would go to work for the power districts digging holes and uh, for the poles, and they got paid a buck a hole. These old timers told me that, uh, and of course, the price didn't change when the weather changed. When frost got in the ground, well, it took a lot longer to dig that hole than it did before the frost was there, so still they didn't complain. They, they thought they were being paid fairly and it was a chance to make some good money. In 1936, sitting beside Nebraska's own Senator George Norris, Franklin Delano Roosevelt signed into law the Rural Electrification Act. Before the establishment of the REA program in 1936, nearly 90% of urban dwellers had electricity, but only 7% of rural dwellers did. By 1958, 95% of rural Nebraskans had electric service. Yeah, I was around 16 when the lights came on. It was uh, very exciting to have all of a sudden lights. We had an ice box, but a lot of the time we didn't have any ice. It was something that was really special. You know, there'd be a lot of people that if it wasn't for public power, the cost to have electricity would be astronomical. I, I think it's, uh, I think it's, one of the best things that happened to the state 